Given that equality and diversity is such a major part of modern Britain, why is there still such public and high profile prejudice against transgender people? Well, I mean, I think the prejudice goes back an awful long way. We're conditioned, aren't we, to believe that people should be born as a woman or born as a, well, born as a female, born as a male, and grow up that way without any changes. And actually, if you look at the biological realities, it's a much more diverse situation. People are quite often born with chromosomal differences. They might go through life you know, not feeling that they're transgender or they might feel they're transgender. But the problem is that we're so bought into this male and female idea, the idea there's nothing else and that, that, that it's all rigid, that we're not able to think beyond that and people find it really threatening. That might be for religious reasons, that might be um, for political reasons. Um, it might be because they themselves feel quite worried about people having gender diversity, maybe changing sex. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think what we've seen particularly with feminism is there's been this investment in masculinity and femininity, which isn't at all what feminism's about. Feminism's about saying that people should be able to be equal, you know, and actually dismantling some of that sort of rigid baggage that goes with gender at the moment. Um, but, you know, basically from the 1970s onwards, we've had some feminists like Janice Raymond, which I talk about in my book here, um, being really stigmatising and prejudiced towards transgender people. And that's, we're still seeing the, the relics of that in today's society. And that's even with the Equality Act. Well, uh, doesn't that go far enough? Well, I mean, I don't think that legislation is the only key to social change, is it? It's about changing minds and hearts, to quote a certain politician of ours. Um, you know, until people realise that gender diversity is just a natural part of society and that, of course, transgender people should have as much freedom from protection from hate crime, hate speech, um, and as much opportunity to contribute to society through jobs and so on as everyone else. You know, until people really get that, um, we're going to get a few unfortunate transphobic people going on in the media trying to sell papers. Um, you know, until society has shifted. What do you feel can be done about it? I mean, society generally has to uh, accept them more, obviously, yeah. but would it help if there was like a, a role model, somebody uh, who stepped forward uh, and said, look, you know, I am a transgender person. Yeah. I get on fine and they become respected. Yeah. Is that what it needs? Well, I mean, I think more importantly, we need everybody in society to say, look, you know, it's not acceptable to be you know, to sort of spout, you know, hate speech against transgender people. So, I mean, I think it's really good that Lynn Featherstone has has come out and said, look, you know, I think Julie Virtual should be sacked because she's just coming out with this transphobic diatribe. I mean, I think it's really important that, you know, in, that senior people in society, prominent people, make a stand against this because that's how things have shifted around, you know, for example, discrimination against disabled people or racial discrimination. It's, you know, it is the legislation and it is the, the civil rights movements. I mean, I think the transgender movement has been quite successful in pushing forward legislation. Um, but it's also people in mainstream society taking it on board and saying, well, you know, look, there's certain things that we just can't say, you know. We can't make those kind of statements publicly. That's not something that we can do as public figures. And you know what then happens is people see role models, you know, in mainstream society and they think, well, you know, I might not like the way that person looks, but, you know, I can't go around making horrible statements or beating them up because of it. And then you get social change. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.